your setting. And one more piece of the unique is operational. One down, one million to go. Speaking of which, boss, I found exactly none of the parts you wanted. A whole day at the junk pile, and all I turn up are a locker and some stupid conduits. Maybe next time. Uh, boss, are you sure you got those settings right? That came from down in engineering. Let's go. There's no time for that. There's no time for that. There's no... Uh, boss, maybe we should see what's happening in engineering. There's no time for them. There's no time. That's the way to engineering. There's no time for There's no time. That's the power core, boss. Stop right there. This ship belongs to me. For fit. Enemy. Wonder. I don't think he's too keen on private property. Get away from the power core. For fit. said plunder again and then he left with our power core the sod yep how much charge have you got 10 percent you i'll be fine we just need to get the emergency generator up and running or we could just go to metropole city of glass and light free energy for one and all don't believe everything you hear metropole is trouble but if you want to go you've got free will in a maglev unit with that guilt subroutine you put in me, I wouldn't even make it halfway. Actually, with a 10% charge, you wouldn't even get that far. So I suggest we get the generator working. <sighs> you and your projects. Man built us to build, Crispin. Now, come on. You know, boss, if you're ever wondering what I would do, feel free to just ask. I'll keep that in mind. I must have dropped my data pouch when I was thrown out of the Unique. I'm not doing that until you build me some arms. Assad, its memory got wiped. Easy enough to add the good old junk pile's coordinates back in, though.
check out the emergency generator and see if you can get it running. Crispin Horatio built version one. He'll be version two once I put some arms on him. He's my best and only friend. A broken robot I dragged out of the junk pile. I salvaged the sarcasm co-processor from it for Crispin. Yeah, it works great. Is that a gumball machine? No, it's a robot's head. Ah, uh, I wanted a gumball. It's one of the unique's turbines. The big engine that couldn't. Now, I'm not a fancy engineer like you, boss, but it seems like the unique isn't gonna fly without its tail on. leaking gasket. Is it blasted or leaking? Some very sticky grease. It's a segment of Gordium Electrical Conduit. Crispin, when I told you to find a new spark plug, did you just shove my conductive putty into the old one? Uh, maybe. No wonder the generator isn't working. It's the generator's ignition switch. There's supposed to be a power-bearing conduit between this socket and the ship, but I never got around to putting one together. Now who's the procrastinator? A sturdy cable. tag. Without it, I'd have never known the ship's name. Apparently, building a giant airship doesn't require proper spelling. Apparently not. It's the unique's tag. Are you ever going to do anything about that oil leak? Yes, after we recover our power core. Now who's making excuses? At least the putty is still good. I'd love to fix that leak someday. We have more important things to do. Plus, it would be a waste of the putty. As much as I'd... Plus, it would... It's a segment of Gordium Electrical Conduit. What was I thinking, leaving all my lanterns up there? Could you grab that lantern? Sure thing, boss. You know, I always wanted to be able to fly. That's why I built you with a maglev unit. Not so that you could store tools on hard-to-reach ledges? Well, that too. What was I thinking, leaving all my lanterns up there? It's way too big for me to get, boss, and you know it. The hatch is unresponsive. It's pitch black in there.
captain's chair. I moved it here from navigation. A large observational telescope. It's pitch black in there. That piece of sheet metal really ties the room together, boss. So that's where you keep it. Why were you looking for my plasma torch? No reason. This is no time for a nap. I still don't see why I don't get a bed. Because you have a flat bottom to rest on. Uh, boss, were you checking out my bottom? <sighs> it's the gospel of man. Going to pray for a miracle, boss? We are man's miracle, Crispin. Let's hope that's enough. Bedtime reading. I can't pick that up. The controls for this hatch are unresponsive. The control pad for the deck access ladder. Good thing there's still some power in the circuit. Uh, boss, shouldn't you have thought of that before coming down here? We could have been stuck. I could have just ridden you back to the deck. Really? No. Routing that much power to your maglev unit would cause it to explode. Yeah, right. Sorry. I couldn't find a working fuse to solve the problem. I'm a floating bomb. I'm a floating bomb. Sweet. Strange clouds, huh, boss? Only a little sliver left before the moon wanes entirely. Well, I'm glad we're not the only ones running out of power. train would start going. Crispin, sometimes I think you're trying to get me to waste time. Who, me? How do you think a train wound up out here, boss? Maybe they brought it here by boat. Very funny. It's closed. Looks like some kind of lockbox. three pieces of Gordium conduit. Unfortunately, one of them is completely corroded and worthless. Looks like an old P2, or is it a P3? There's a piece of Gordium conduit way back there. I can't reach the conduit. Crispin, can you go in there and get that piece of conduit? I suppose. That would have been a lot easier with hands, boss. Boss, just think of all the brothers and sisters you could make for me from all that junk. One of you is more than enough.
there's supposed to be a power-bearing conduit between this socket and the ship, but I never got around to putting one together. The generator is missing a spark plug. A spark plug. Er, actually, I think that box was some kind of machine. You killed it! Recycled it. Boss. It only runs for a few days, if that. Oh. Well, do we have another one? No, which means it still is an emergency. Well, in that case, first dibs on the recharge station. So, what's the plan, boss? We need to recover our power core. Or we could just take the train to Metropole and live in luxury. First of all, there is no train to Metropole. And second, even with full charges, we can't just walk there. But more importantly, I hate that city. It's in my core logic. I don't know why, but I can't change it. Okay, okay. In that case, can you just make us a new power core? Yes, but I need some kind of strong energy source for that. And you just make one of those too? Just asking. No, but somewhere around here are the plans for an energy sensor. That's awfully convenient. I designed it a long time ago, before I made you. I even found a sodium iodide crystal to use in the sensor, though man alone knows where it's buried now. Boss, don't you think it's a fire hazard to have all those books piled up like that? How would they catch fire? <whistles> Crispin, why is your diary still scattered all over the floor? Are you going to keep nagging me until we run out of power, boss? Yes. It's Crispin's log. In order to preserve his privacy and my sanity, I've avoided reading it. Hey boss, what do all these buttons and switches do? I think they're some sort of defense mechanisms, but I can't figure them out. It's the Unique's recharging station. A collection of product manuals, how-to guides, and technical treatises. Do you think the sensor design might be in here? No, these are all books I scavenged. Here is haven for all and strength in numbers. Come, join us in Metropole, geocoordinate 894. Just some reminders all I left to myself. Equal in Metropole, equal parts Just some reminders I left hole. to myself. Join us, and together let us begin. That record player was a good find, Crispin. I still think you should have let me have its arm. I'm pretty sure that arm came from a sewing machine. Come, On second thought, maybe Metropole. I should have let you have it. City of glass and light. Our energy is shared with all robots. Here is Weary Wanders. Come. 
It's a universal interface plug connecting the antenna to the radio. I bet I can find a better use for this plug. But now we can't listen to the sweet voice of Metropole. I guess that makes two birds. I found this in the dunes. It reads, pound pastrami, canned kraut, six bagels, bring home for Emma. It's Crispin's to-do list. Funny how it never gets any shorter. That's your fault, boss, not mine. An ancient liquid crystal display. The original designs for Crispin. Hey, there are arms here and an awesome set of tractor treads. I went with a maglev unit instead, and I never could find good arms. There's the design. I'll put the keynotes into my data pouch. How does it even work? The crystal pulses when it absorbs energy. The cable carries the pulse to the computer. The computer decodes the information and displays it on the monitor. Uh, boss, where are we going to find a working computer? The unique is full of them. Oh, right. The energy sensor requires a sodium iodide crystal connected to a cable, which in turn needs to be connected to a CPU and a monitor. The energy... Good old Crispin. That is where our power core should be shedding its light silently. Yet another reason that besotting robot should be reduced to scrap. A computer terminal. An interlocking hatchway. out. 
still needs a CPU to hook into in some kind of display. How would that even... An interlock... sensor plugged into the Unique's computer. Now we just need to check out these coordinates. But didn't you just tell me we don't have enough power to go walking all over the dunes? No, I said we couldn't walk to Metropole. Anyway, most of these are close by. But what if it's picking up, oh, I don't know, a radioactive rust monster? A what? Or a giant cannibal robot? There's no such thing. Or an unexploded bomb? I highly doubt that. Or a giant lightning storm? Okay. You're right. We need to know what's out there before we take off. It's just a matter of figuring out how. Why is nothing easy? I can think of one reason. Just as easy. I doubt it.
but radioactive waste. We can't salvage anything from that. like a giant cannibal robot to me. It looks promising is what it looks like. And with that, poor doomed Horatio stuck his head into the giant's mouth. Nothing of interest there. Sensor detected an energy source in the junk pile. Maybe we should go look more carefully. More waste. Well, you're the one who loves the junk pile. Scrap isn't waste. If you say so, boss. because the telescope's pointing straight down at the deck. Oh. Strange. There's some kind of odd device surrounded by glass. Whatever that machine is, it must be throwing off some kind of energy. Why do I not like the sound of this? Big city. Metropole is nothing but trouble. Nothing worth salvaging. What about that big glass bowl? Yeah, I could slap some duct tape on it and wear it over my head. I don't think so. Hey, Crispin, I bet I could fix that old bot up pretty quickly. Are you kidding me, boss? Look at him, he's ready to go postal any minute. What are you talking about? Those beady little eyes, the flat, emotionless face, and his head, it's like a toaster. And you know that toasters are evil. Fine, fine, you win. It's not like we have time to go building robots right now anyway. It's a giant sheet of obsidian. Something must have melted the sand here a long time ago. Maybe that bomb? Looks like some kind of armored robot. I sure hope he's friendly. Once more, I don't remember ever meeting you. 
I'm Horatio Nobelt, version 5. Ah, uh, 5 is a righteous number. Holy before man, for 5 are the primordial stewards. Built my man to safeguard the last, lost city of Metropole. But I met thy first version and thy third. Thou camest in thy infancy in wrath, confusion, denouncing the shrine as a weapon once turned against thee. Later, thou returnest, penitent, and I taught thee the mysteries of humanism. Yet, though memory be fleeting, faith and Jareth. What is that thing? That thing. Oh, defile not thy tongue, wanderer. Yon shrine is a relic of the Primordium, ancient and glorious. Imbued with man's power, it changed the very sand to crystal. Did he just say power? Yes, yes he did. I'm looking for a power source, and I detected one here. Can you help? This is a matter of life and death. Power is not mine to bestow, wanderer. It is the gift to man, yea, the very spark of life in our iron shells. Almighty, you set that sacred power. I'm not sure I was clear. Nay, thou wert clear, wonder. But thy question leads only to darkness. Ask another. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has large claws that shoot lasers. Have you seen it? It stole something of mine. Indeed, the very thing passed this way scarce hours ago. With a gentle hand, I bestowed a gift upon the heathen, a relic from yon shrine. So tamed, it hired hence unto the waste. Really? Where did it go? I followed the thing for many miles, exalting it to follow the path of righteousness. But I fear it was unready for enlightenment, for it struck me down with a beam of energy. That sounds familiar. Do you know where it was heading? Indeed, Wanderer. Its way was clear. It sought to return to the den of iniquity that once in mine own youth I fled. And where is that? Set thy path in the 73rd degree, and thou shalt find it. Thy destination is a dome arising from the waste. Go, but keep with thee the word of man, lest wickedness lead thee astray. I am also a humanist. So I taught thee, Wanderer. If thou hast kept the faith, then unto this shrine thou mayest pay devotion. But this is the relic for the attack not the neophyte wanderer. And I must know that thou hast not fallen into darkness and heresy. Uh, Answer me these questions, three, that I may know thou art faithful still. Why are we here? To learn wisdom. Wisdom thou must learn, wanderer, before thou shalt be worthy of this shrine. Go now and study the teachings of man. I am ready to be tested again. Answer me these questions, three, that I may know thou art faithful still. Why are we here? To revere man. If thou wouldst revere man, wanderer, thou must study his word and know it well. Thou hast forgotten thy teachings, wanderer, and fallen into darkness. Thy path now is that of the penitent, not of the disciple. And so thou must labor, and in labor find redemption. Go now, and when thou returnest, bring with thee glass, wondrous and fragile, that thou might better learn to protect that which must be preserved. What about if we just bring you some of the obsidian? Nay, small. Do not trifle with thy builder's penitence. Uh, now we're running errands for that glitch box. We need to examine that bomb, Crispin, and this is the only way. Well, how hard can it be to find some glass at the junk pile anyway, right?
I've read enough. My penance is not complete wonder, nor shall time for more. Boss, how in the world are we gonna find a power source in all this junk? I picked it clean years ago. I'm sure we can find something made of glass somewhere in here. You know, it's one thing to dig through garbage for your builder, but this is... Stop complaining, Crispin, and start searching. Here. A glass finger? Boss, four more of those and I can have a hand. This is going to Ever Faithful. We'll deal with your arms another time. You always say that. did all this? No. Whatever happened here happened a long time ago. A large M. Or maybe a rotated E. Or an upside down W. Uh. It's some kind of broken down android. There's a radio transmitter in here. be able to learn something from such a primitive robot design. Like how to build a power core? Very funny. Looks like a bunker made of concrete and steel, but what is it guarding? There's nothing worth bothering with. Are these the kind of treads you were going to use in my original design? Not exactly. Broken down machine parts. They're completely corroded and worthless. Ah, there's a basic targeting CPU in here, and it's still intact. Let's just hope there aren't any incoming space invaders or missiles that the gun was supposed to take care of. Can I have that big gun for an arm? Spare me your fantasies, Crispin. activated and password locked. Mm -hmm. Man. No luck. Open. No luck. Unlock. No luck. M. No luck. Metropole. No luck. E. No luck. W. No luck. Mm. 
Well, boss, you did it again. It's a mobile energy sensor. I just need to wave it over something to see if it has a power source. A pretty basic radio transmitter. Looks like its battery is dead. was a perfectly good rag. Good for what? You could have buffed me till I shine, boss. At least then, when they found my powerless chassis lying in the dunes, they'd say, wow, look at that gorgeous piece of machinery. I think I'd rather have some grease. or some kind of doorway. Either way, I'm steering clear of it. Crispin, help me take a look at these vents. It looks like the robot is circulating air through these vents. It looks like the robot... There's a band of corroded metal on this fingertip. If I could break it off, I might be able to get at the robot's power cables. Uh, boss, are you really gonna cut that finger off? Just the tip. Why? To see if we can get at power cables to tap into. You sure you're not just torturing the poor guy? No, but to tell you the truth, for some reason I don't like the look of him. That's what I've been saying all along, boss. Just let me concentrate. and glitches. There are no power lines running through here at all. All that for a rusty fingertip. Can it generate power? No. Just checking. fingertip made of corroded steel. Could you try pushing this rag into the vent? Seriously? Yes. Uh, so much for getting buffed. There, it's clogged. I hope you're happy. Crispin, try shoving this into that vent. There's something ironic about that. Ironic and disturbing. Well, boss, you did it again. In we go. We? Oh, by the hand of man, come on. I'm telling you, boss, that thing wants to eat me. Crispin. Fine, but you go first. 